Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is part 5 in a series of 6 and I'll be showing you how to mod your RC tank. The steps are very similar to the previous video where I was showing the RC Bandito but I'm still doing a full video here so that you can actually take reference and see the exact steps that I take. Now if you do not yet have a modded terabyte, this is something that you will need. So please refer to the link in the description where there's a tutorial teaching how to get a modded terabyte up to the 5 minute 14 mark. After you have done that, you can come back to this video. To those who have done the terabyte glitch in part 1 of this series, your terabyte should already be in one of your nightclub garages like this. Your terabyte garage should be empty because the bike that you have pushed is already there and it is invisible. And here are the requirements. You will need to own the facility. You will also need Doomsday Act 2 Bogdan's Finale ready to go. You will also need to own a nightclub, a friend to help you out. And last but not least, you will need to follow the steps of making a modded terabyte, which I released as part 1 of this series, right up until the 5 minute 14 second mark. There's a link in the description for that video as well. So please go ahead and do that and then come back to this video. Now moving down to another full nightclub garage. I have prepped a four-wheel bike which will be giving the RC tank its mods. And that will be the Street Blazer over here. If you don't know how to mod personal vehicles with F1 wheels, do refer to the link in the description where there's a tutorial that can help you with that. And you can notice that this garage is not full yet, so I'm going to have to buy a free allergy to fill up that slot, which I'll be doing so now. So by the time when I reach the part of the glitch where I come back here, the free allergy will have arrived and the garage will be full. Now before I move on, just a quick message over here. If you intend to purchase anything or any services from extramods.com, I have code for you right here that will give you 5% off. You don't have to buy if you don't want to, but just remember this coupon code when you do. So once you've prepared all the requirements, let's go ahead and do this. So if you have followed the Mother Terabyte video, you would have driven the Terabyte over a bike and it would now be in the nightclub. Now there's a reason why we use bikes instead of cars, simply because no matter where the bike is, we can always call it out via the MC Club menu, and that is what we are going to do right now. So first, just proceed to exit the nightclub. Once you're outside, start up your motorcycle club, and call out the bike that you used for your modded terabyte. Just a gentle reminder here to take note of which bikes you are using for your modded terabyte and your modded Avenger, and also not to buy any duplicates. This is so that whenever you need to call the bike out, you will not be confused and you'll be able to change the mods at any time. So once you've called out the bike, you can proceed to the nearest LS Customs to sell this bike. Once you have sold the bike, you can make your way over to the facility where we will continue with the next part of this glitch. Once you're at the facility, call your mechanic and call out a vehicle that starts with the letter I and this will make it easier for you to call out your tank when you're at the next part of the glitch. After that, just invite your friend in if you have not. Invite your friend into your motorcycle club and then proceed to enter the facility. Once you are in the facility, just make your way to the heist planning room where the Doomsday Act 2 Finale should be waiting for you. Once in the heist planning room, if you don't already have a job in your phone, you can call Gerald, Simeon or Martin to make sure that you have a job in your phone. And this is critical because we will be using that to stack on the heist. So once you get a job in your phone ready, here's what you are supposed to do. You are going to press E to start up the heist and immediately after that you have to spam up and enter 
in order to get a glitched menu. Again, I have to say here, this may be difficult for some and easy for others. My recommendation is that if you have controller, plug it in, it'll be a lot easier to hit. Else on PC, I have seen a lot of players struggle with this, including myself. And so here we go. You can see that I have failed the first time round, so I'm going to quit this and I'm going to try again. When you quit, the job in your phone may be closed, so you'll just have to call and request for another one. Now let's give this a go again. Once you see the Bogdan problem and you see a blue menu, and with Gerald, Simeon or Martin's name in the brackets, this means you have hit the glitch. So just get your friend to join and then you can select continue and then proceed to play. Now over here, the moment you select play, make sure that you are spamming the down button as well as a few clicks of the mouse to make sure that this selector starts scrolling with the down button. This is to make sure that the vehicle selection menu will pop up next. When you're at this menu, just go select your custom vehicle and look for the Invade and Persuade tank. Once you have it selected, you are ready to play. If your friend is on a frozen screen, ask him to press down twice and then press enter. For some, it may take longer to load. For some, it loads pretty fast. You just have to wait it out. Once you're loaded into the interiors of the submarine, get your friend to quit the heist and you will also be kicked out. So all you have to do right here is to go back into free mode. When you load back online, your RC tank should be nearby as well, but here's what you've got to do. Open up your interaction menu and change your spawn location to last location. After that, go to style, change an outfit to save, wait for the orange circle to finish processing. and then proceed to go to creator mode and then back into an invite only session. Now you should spawn back into your nightclub and the next thing you want to do is to make your way to your terabyte. Once you are at your terabyte, just enter the vehicle, press E to access the modification menu, and proceed to change or buy something cheap. I always recommend license plate colors because they are the cheapest. And right after you have done that, just exit the vehicle. Next, you will need to proceed to exit the nightclub. Once you are outside, open up your interaction menu and request for personal vehicle. Now what should spawn should be your terabyte personal vehicle, but at this point, this actually represents your RC tank. So what you need to do right now is to get into the terabyte and drive it back into the nightclub, into the full garage which you have already prepared your bike. For me, that will be B4, and that's what I'll choose. Accept the alert and proceed. Over here, just select the bike to replace and then confirm your choice. Once you have done that, the glitch is complete. Though right now, you will still see the terabyte, but that slot will be empty once you do a game restart. Now exit the nightclub and we'll go take a look at the RC tank. Open up your interaction menu, go to inventory and proceed to call out your RC tank. And you will see here that RC Tang has already gotten the mods and you are successful. So from part 1 to part 5 of this series, you have all the methods that you need to glitch all these vehicles which cannot be modded under normal circumstances. 
Now in the last part of this series, I will be teaching you how to switch mods for the Avenger, the RC Bandito and the tank. And for those who have lost their modded terabytes because of doing all these glitches, I'll show you a way of how to get it back. So stay tuned for part 6 and thanks for watching.